today I'm here with a new video and I am here with a new first impression today as well. And today I am going to test out LA Splash Classic Horror. This were their Halloween collection. I have talked about this in one of my Will I Buy It. And I was really intrigued by it and then I was not. But then it came to Beauty Bay and it was pretty cheap so I bought it. And it comes with a sleeve that says Classic Horror. Uh, with lightnings and stuff and the palette looks like this and the palette also says classic horror and this is a paper palette and I love paper palettes and the inside is holographic this one and here around the mirror it's the same as the front uh, and it got a mirror. I like mirrors in palettes. I don't need mirrors in palettes, but I like them. And this is 10 colors that look like this. I don't know the mirror. I can't fold it back. Um, so it looks like this. And these have all horror names. It's Toxic Psycho, Madness, Curse, Blue Moon, Sunbay, Nightmare. 13th Vodou and Lights Out and I have <laughs> swatched I am so bad at swatches I have swatched all these <laughs> colors on my arm and they are not as pigmented as I wanted them to be but they look really good and the black one it is black and it was a creamy creamy black and also this green was really creamy and I haven't decided what I want to do yet First I was thinking to do two different eyes, uh, but I don't want to do that anymore. But I have no idea what I want. In normal case I would go with these three maybe, uh, I don't think you can see. The yellow, the orange and the green. I don't know, I wanted to test out so many colors that I can, that was... That's why I was thinking about doing two different looks on my eyes. But I changed my mind. So I'm just going to <laughs> look at colors a little bit more. So I can decide what I want, want to do. So I will be back when I have decided something. Okay, I think I have decided what I want to do. I think I'm going to take this green one. That is Madness in my crease. And then taking 13th, the red one, and this blue one, blue moon, at my uh, lid. And then maybe this toxic underneath my eyes. I think I'm going to do that. I am not completely sure, but I think we will try it. And I have done my base already. So this is a little risky with a new palette. My base is done. Uh, I hope it will go okay. So I will prime my eyes first. I have never tried any eyeshadows from LA Splash. I don't know how many eyeshadows they have. I'm going to be honest if this is their first eyeshadow palette. I have no idea. I have tried a foundation that was so dark for me and I have tried their concealer. Their concealer is okay for the cheap price. So yeah, okay, my eyes are primed. So I'm going to take this, this brush I think, no. I'm going to take this green color that's called Madness and put it on my in my crease and it's good with color and I have to flip this for the next first impression so I have the mirror on this side so you can see me do like this because now you ain't gonna see anything so I guess I will start with my left eye Okay, this was super 
I thought this would be a little bit bright, but I can see that from the swatches that I've made that it's, it's pretty mossy, maybe light mossy green, not such a bright mossy, maybe it's a little bit of like Frankenstein's monster green, and maybe <laughs> that is the point, because it's a classic horror. I think that is the point. Maybe I should do it like this instead I can use the mirror in the palette so you can see better. I think this is a okay color. Uh, it's not so pigmented so you have to build it up. I don't really care about that because I I don't like eyeshadows or any product that's except for maybe lip products that are super pigmented from the start especially when they are new because then you don't know how it's going to turn out okay so the green is on and I think I like it and now I'm going to... Okay. I think I will take... Ooh. And this red one, the 13th. That is a hard word. Um, on the outer half of my eye. Outer corner of my lid. Maybe I should say. And as you know, I really like red. And this has a bit of fallout, but it took a good amount on my brush. But it blends. It turns a little bit brown here between the red and the green but that is okay it doesn't look messy or shitty or something like that a little bit of fallout here I hope I can just swoop it away maybe this seems a little bit hard to swoop away but I hope I can fix it uh, or else I don't know what to do? So the red is there and I like this red. It's not like a bright bright red. I would love like a blood red in this palette but this is this is a nice red. It's a little bit darker than the red I have but it's not too dark if that makes any sense. And then I will take I think I will take this one, the blue moon. Uh, this is a little bit more green, the other one, curse. But the blue moon is quite blue. And I will take this on my inner corner. I will tap off the brush and hope for no more fallouts because then I maybe can't save this face. It's fallouts from this as well. Can you see what I'm doing? I don't know how to act. And it's the same with this. It turns a little bit blurry with the green. But they are... I can blend them together. I can also blend it together with the red one. So that is good. So I think I like this. They were easy to work with, a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. So I just have to see if I can <laughs> swoop the fallouts away. I really hope so because I don't know what to do. <laughs> the blue one is really stuck. To on my inner corner. Shoot. 
I know this to the next time that I'm going to do my base last because I can't get rid of this. It's stuck. <sighs> this was not good. It's stuck here in my inner corners. I think I have to live <laughs> with this a little bit of blue in my inner corner. I only have myself to blame for doing my base first. But I maybe can fix it with I take a powder puff maybe. Okay, so I didn't get it all away. It's I got a little bit of blue on my inner corners, but I think I have to live with it then. And now I'm going to take color on my lower lash. Now I don't know if I will take Toxic or Psycho, but I think I will take Toxic and put it underneath and I take the whole lower lash and I hope I can hide some of the blue. And oh, that did not want as I wanted it. This is not like a super bright yellow, it looks pretty bright in the palette. But it's, I think it maybe has a little bit of green to it or something like that. And on this eye, some of the red was at my lower lash line and that didn't turn out great. Okay, this, uh, this did not turn out super great, if I'm going to be honest. I have to do my base last and my eyes first with this palette. Because now it's here my lower lash. The blue and little of the purple is like peeking through the yellow so it doesn't turn out that good. But I will put on some mascara and see if it looks better. But I like my upper, my lid, my upper lid, my lower lid. I only have one lid. I like the lids but I don't like the lower lash line because the colors are peeking through. I should have done my eyes first today, as I usually do, and not my base first, because this not turned out good. But I will put on some mascara and see if I... I don't know how it's going to save this. Okay, I don't know if this saved the look one bit. But I like my lid color, I don't like my lower lash. It's my fault, not the shadow's fault, because... The shadow had some fallouts. I don't mind fallouts. I don't think any shadows are bad for having fallouts. But I would recommend you to do your base first. No, your eyes first with this one. Because it's fallouts, they didn't... I couldn't sweep them away. So when I put the yellow, the blue is shining through here and the red is here and... It look like it looks messy, uh, and that's I can say with the colors. The green, when the red and the blue came over the green, the green lost a little bit, and it it doesn't look bad. It's just not super super green. Maybe I can go over with the green again and see what's happened then, because it's already messed up, so I don't mess it up a little bit more. Yeah, this worked. This worked good. Yeah. But the colors are very easy to work with. And I really like them. I, I think this idea is really fun to do a classic horror thing. And I, I like the palette. It looks... It's something different what you usually see and yeah, I like it. And I like the names. Of the colors and the colors I've tried, I tried. Th do you see this one, this one, this one, and this one? They were good, uh, so I really like this. I'm going to play with this a little bit more, and it will come a review video on this when I've tried it more. So I like it. I like the formula. I like the packaging, and for the cheap price, I think it's a really good palette. And I would want more brands to do stuff like that because I think it's fun.
I like the Halloween and the horror stuff. So, I am happy with this. Not so happy with the makeup, but it's my fault, not the palette. Uh, next time I will do my eyes first and then do my base so I can really go all in. Don't care about fallouts at all. So, it's a good palette. If you're thinking about buy it, buy it because it's good. So, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you do, please press like and also... Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love new subscribers. So I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!